Hi guys, just wanted to show you this, just got it from Banggood. This is a 5.8 gig, 48 channel FPV monitor with a built-in battery. So that's a monitor and a receiver and it's just 20 quid. So add one of these, as I've got on my little drone here, add one of those for about £12.80 from Banggood and you've got FPV there for less than 35 quid. So let's take a closer look. It arrives in a little cardboard box like this, charging lead, very simple and limited instructions that don't really tell you anything because it's so easy to use you don't need to know. For example, that flips up and down like that, on off is there, charging socket there, plug in this gadget here and plug into a USB socket, phone charger or whatever, open it up. If you press that button there it will search for what frequency you're on but of course it knows that it knows the channel I'm on now so it just fires up straight in that. The other great thing about this is unlike a lot of kit that have got built-in lipos and once the lipos decided it's had enough it dies these have actually got a removable lipo which plugs in there I'm not going to put it out it's quite a tight fit but at least if this does eventually fail you can put a new lipo in the shades look good on it, dead easy and convenient to use. This over here is what I used to use, suitcase with a receiver and an antenna, separate batteries for the monitor and for the receiver and so on, so complicated. This is all in one and does the same job and I think it's great. Perfect and ideal for those times when you go out and all you want to take is a drone and a little monitor, so that's perfect. Now when you first get it you'll find there's a screen protector on there. Easiest way to remove that is to unclip the front cover and then you can get to the little tab and peel it off. And of course it just slots back in. It comes with this little dipole as you saw which works fine with another dipole such as on this little tiny transmitter plus camera that I've got here. But antennas come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Dipoles are very common and most of these little video transmitters that you can buy are very cheap. Most of these come with a dipole as part of the package. They're only five or ten quid or something really silly. Another common type of aerial is a clover leaf. This one's got three lobes. That one's got four lobes. Quite commonly I think the receivers have four lobes. The transmitters have three lobes. Now ideally you want match pairs of aerials when you're using FPV. I'm not the great expert on it but I do know that. So for example on my big drone I've got one of these furry bees that I also use with my goggles and basically inside there is a clover leaf. So if I just switch antenna for a second I've got loads of these even some homemade. You can see it works really well with my little homemade camera transmitter set up here. I think the chip was about a fiver, solder it together, hot glued the camera on, soldered on a clover leaf and this just runs off a 1S LiPo. Works great with that and I, I did, did a bit of a range test and I got a couple of hundred meters on this but basically the better the antennas the better the range you're going to get with one of these. It's hard to put a definitive figure on it because like I say they come in lots of different shapes and sizes. So the best thing to do is experiment a bit. But I'm well pleased with this. I think for 20 quid, $26, it's amazing value. It looks nicely made. Battery life seems pretty good. I mean, I've, I've sort of run it half an hour to getting on for an hour or something. It seems to be fine. Range seems to be good. So the receiver's pretty good in it. And if you want to get into cheap FPV, one of those little cameras there that I showed you on my drone, or chip like this with an antenna on it, and a little camera that's about a fiver, However you want to do it, for around 35 quid you can get into FPV and have some fun with that. Anyway that's all for now, just a little look at cheap FPV, there's loads of stuff online so do a Google, loads of information there for you, but I do think that this little monitor plus an antenna stroke camera is an easy and good way to make a start in it. Check out some of the other stuff on my channel down there, there's loads of flying drones, RC stuff, paragliding, paramotoring, you name it, it's on there. So stay safe and hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. But that's all for now.